A married couple, starving and lost in the forest, came across three wolves at a desperate moment. Owing to their small pack size, the wolves found it difficult to hunt efficiently. He was shocked to see the wolves in front of him. As he strolled through the forest, which is when he had the unforgettable encounter with Andre. At first they were thought to be possible prey. But when Andre showed off a juicy piece of meat from his backpack, that was originally intended for other animals he had come across. The situation changed rather than the other way around. Putting the meat down and backing away calmly. He realized the wolves needed it more. Although most people would be frightened by the proximity of wolves, Andre understood their hunger. Offering food. He anticipated the wolves would focus on the meal. And indeed. They did. After this initial encounter. Andre promised to return the next day for more feeding. He eventually succeeded in taming the wolves. After earning their trust over time. The wolves were looking forward to Andre. And even letting him pet them as the daily ritual went on. Eventually. Andre brought his newfound friends to meet his wife. The couple rejoiced and celebrated with the wolves. After learning that Angela was expecting a child. Though there is doubt that animals can understand human speech. Andre is positive that the wolves understood every word. And celebrated by licking the happy couple. The married couple will always remember this endearing scene. And ultimately. Angela delivered a lovely baby girl. They named her Sonia. Their dream had finally come true. And for three years. They experienced joy with their daughter. They instilled in her a deep love for animals. When she turned two. She encountered the wolves that were part of their family. They trusted the wolves so much that going for a walk with them was normal. The wolves looked more mature and robust. With a hint of ferocity. At six years old. But when Andre was around. They changed into kind puppies who were excited to play with the young girl. Sonia was completely safe as she played alongside them. Under the watchful eyes of Andre and Angela. The family adopted this as a weekly ritual following church. However. When Sonia became ill at the age of three. The tale took a tragic turn. Her fever. Vomiting. And diarrhea sent her parents to the hospital. Where they spent a desperate night. Despite their efforts. Sonia was declared passing away. Shattering the couple's hearts. They couldn't fathom her departure. And. Devastated. They arranged for her burial in a local cemetery. Villagers. Friends and relatives gathered to share the family's grief. Aware of their struggle for Sonia's birth, life seemed to have changed forever after the funeral. However, they learned that wolves were disturbing their daughter's grave five hours later. Confused, the couple hurried to the scene and saw that. Surprisingly, the people trying to stop the wolves were themselves. While the other two dug, the third stood watch and acted aggressively toward anyone who came near. Andre was perplexed as to why they were acting in this way. When the wolves were done, they opened the coffin to reveal a startling sight. That made the situation evident. With only these three wolves to hear her cries for help. Little Sonia had lost her voice and was crying as she lay there. Nobody could figure out how they got to the cemetery which wasn't too far from the forest. Or how they discovered the girl was there and, even more startling, still alive. Sonia was rushed to the hospital, where additional physicians were summoned to conduct an assessment. Since the first doctors had effectively buried a living child, in remarks to the media, the state attorney general affirmed that a probe into the girl's case had been started, he underlined the continuous identification of particular research areas. 
due to their negligence. The hospital and the doctors will be sued. Most importantly, three wolves were credited with saving the girl. After a prolonged hospital stay, she made a full recovery. The parents will never forget these animals' amazing deeds. And Sonia will always have a particular place in her heart for them. This story emphasizes the deep bonds that can form between people and animals when people try to understand them and give them the love and care they so richly deserve. Let continue the second story of today. The tiger carried a bag to the parked truck and they couldn't stop screaming when they opened it. Sometimes people find it difficult to understand each other. Kindness is seen as a sign of weakness. And being overly nervous is seen as an attempt to humiliate the other. He thought the predator was going to tear him to pieces. But in reality, the animal had very different intentions. This story is about the deadliest creature known to man, a mother tiger. But it might not turn out the way you think. Because it's a story about overcoming your instincts. And your fears in order to ask for help from the last person you expected. When a mother tiger asked a local forest ranger for help to save her cubs. She finally repaid him a year later in the most incredible way. It's a story about overcoming your innate instincts. And fears in order to turn to the creature you least expect. I will say that this is a series of fictional events to start the story. However. The main themes and messages of the story are very important. And people may look for help in their daily life. In today's society it is often not easy to understand each other. As a key skill of patience, listening. A lot of people forget to be kind. A lot of people just care about themselves. And ignore that other people less fortunate than themselves. So need a little help to get back on track. And the kindness that can help so many people is often seen as a weakness. That causes you to be trampled upon by anyone stronger than you. Because in this day and age it's so hard to understand other people. And it may seem even more impossible. To understand animals of different species. But the story I'm going to tell you today shows how a little patience. Kindness. And understanding can go a long way helping those who really need help people. The story I'm going to tell you happened about 15 years ago to an old man who had been a forest worker all his life and lived in a small village in the Aurelia region. He lives with his adult daughter, her husband and their young son. One day, as he often likes to do, the old man went into the local forests to get some fresh air. He loved going to the forests because he loves the natural beauty. They hold and what they offer to all who come to find fresh food for people. On that day the old man went to find some blueberries. So he could entertain his grandson. For he loved fresh berries and what could be fresher than fruit in the forest. The old forester knew the area inside and out. So he decided to keep venturing into the woods so he could find really big berries to surprise his grandson. Having found what he was looking for, the old man wasted no time, and just squatted down and started picking the fruits he had found, and putting them into the basket he had brought. Because picking berries is quite a relaxing and healing activity. The forester quickly loses awareness of his surroundings, and he soon realizes that he has walked into a very large, deep cave. But he has no idea how got there. Suddenly he heard a furious growl. Which he knew meant danger. Coming from a large tiger. And it seemed as if the animal sensed the intrusion of this man into its territory. And made it clear that he was certainly not welcome there. Fortunately. The old forester knew that tigers like to roam in these places. So he was not caught off guard quickly grabbing the gun he had brought just in case this happened. He fired a shot into the air, hoping to scare the behemoth away. The animal ran to the hole, fearing the sound, but seemed in no hurry to leave the area. It looked as if there was something the tiger wanted here. 
and it would stay close to the car park near the forest. Where the truck was parked until it had it. Even if it meant getting shot at by rangers. The ranger scanned the surrounding forest and quickly realized why the tiger hadn't escaped. On the ground not too far from where he was standing, there was a newly born tiger cub. After careful inspection, the old man noticed that the cub had been trapped in a bag. Stay here. Never get out again. A tiger mother is just protecting her cubs and doesn't know of any other way she can help. The old man knew that if he didn't help the little animal, it would die in the bag because it wouldn't be able to eat, drink or protect itself from other predators. Seeing no other options, the forest ranger decided to risk his life to save the cub. Why is this so dangerous to that man? Because if the mother tiger thinks he is trying to harm her baby in any way, she will attack and possibly kill the old man. Knowing the risks, the forest ranger cautiously approached the cub, then pulled out his pen knife, which he quickly began opening the bag. After a few minutes, the bag popped open and the cub broke free. Not wanting to run out of luck, the old man left the area in a hurry and headed home. Through the woods, the old man felt as if he was being followed. He knew the most likely target was the tiger. And he finally broke through the tree line and entered a safe open field. When he felt safe and out of the woods, he turned around and saw only the adult tiger standing behind a tree. She looked at the forester as if she wanted to say thank you for helping her cub. But she didn't know how to thank him. The old man didn't understand and just left the park and went home. About a year later, the old forester was sitting at home waiting for his daughter and son-in-law, who went to town to buy a new crib, because they are expecting another baby. But the young couple was late, which worried the old man. Suddenly one of the old man's neighbors ran into his house, and started shouting that something terrible had happened. A tiger was walking around the village covered in blood, and with something in its teeth, the forest ranger quickly grabbed his gun and followed his neighbors into the street where they encountered some other people from the village who started firing shots into the air hoping to scare the tiger back into the forest but it was no good effect after the tiger noticed the forest ranger in the crowd the huge beast lowered its head dropped a red bundle on the ground and walked away to hide behind a tree. The ranger realized that it was the same tiger from a year ago. He approached the object that the tiger had put down, fell and was startled. The thing lying on the ground was wrapped in his daughter's clothes. It was a newborn baby, terrified by what might happen to his daughter. The old man took the baby in his arms and began to follow the tiger into the woods. As if knowing what the old man wanted, the tiger started leading him through the forest. And they soon came across a rickety old bridge that looked like it hadn't been used in years. But it's surprisingly apparent that someone has tried to use it recently. But they were so heavy that the rotten planks were crushed. The forester looked under the bridge and saw his daughter and son-in-law lying on the rocks below, and he rushed towards them as fast as he could. When he reached the couple, he noticed that his daughter was alive but, unfortunately, her husband did not survive the fall. The rescue team came to help, and the daughter was taken to a nearby hospital for treatment. After she stabilized and recovered enough to talk, she explained everything. It turned out that she had persuaded her husband to take her to see an old place she had loved since she was a child and to get there. Although they tried to cross the disused bridge, the stress of the fall made the woman faint, during which time she thought she saw a tiger. But she couldn't be sure because she quickly lost consciousness. Hearing the story, the forest ranger understood that the beast he had once saved the child had repaid him by saving his newborn grandson, which she did just in time. 
without Tiger's help. The old man could have ended up losing everyone he cared about. At that moment, the old man also realized why the tiger never attacked him a year ago. And she wanted to say, Thank you for saving my cub. This story is telling people that whether it is with animals or other humans, we can try to be a little more patient. So that people can express themselves properly. Because humans often fight over the silliest things. While animals focus only on finding food. Staying out of danger. Loving their offspring. And finding a healthy mate to breed with. And here. We are fighting for the issue of color and race. We measure success with money. Status. Media and other artificial things. So superficial. We put social pressure on people to do things. To go after what they don't have. Usually out of selfishness and greed. We think we're the best. But that's ridiculously ironic wrong. Usually. Arrogant people are the best fragile. In my opinion. We are one of the worst species on earth. Humans have not stopped creating garbage. Which is sure to put animals and marine species. As well as humans. At risk. Like pollution. Many animals and humans have been affected by the virus. So I just want to know why there isn't any strict rules. And laws that can be enforced against them. What they do has to be punished. We can see plastic bags in the ocean all over the water. Of course these do make us develop and progress. They allow us to change the environment somewhat to suit our needs. But it doesn't necessarily make us better. Animals don't follow moral codes because they don't have the concept. Humans have moral codes but often choose to ignore or impose them. On other humans. Human caused environmental change on a global scale. Has inexorably driven other animals to extinction in the process. I haven't seen other animals do anything to us. Some people say that animals are better than humans. But there are examples of animals doing things as cruel and despicable as humans. The old man didn't understand it all then. And I think he finally does. This story just proves that sometimes all you need to do is listen a little more to understand someone.